because uh, I'm here to represent the children that are in Morient. And the only problem I have is when I talk, it's talking to deaf ears because nobody's listening. And I think with these kind of meetings, we can get some people to start listening. And we can start to get uh, some people doing something about this. And that is, is to look at uh, these communities, small communities, when I was growing up in uh, Sioux, in a small community, we all knew each other, we all cared for each other. And that's the way communities are supposed to be. And I, I, I'm just wondering if, uh, if what would happen if big corporations came in and decided to put condos along Jordan River. That scares me. Because uh, then the integrity of these lands and these small communities will be gone. But I know that if you uh, think about things the right way and really look at it and, and everyone has a connection into it, I know we can do a good job here. I don't know what that is. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what our, uh, our legal team our lawyers are looking at because we're looking at legal options right now. But I know this is that uh, we have to work together as one. This land has to be protected for future generations. Uh, I need to ensure that our, our children have a place that will, uh, they will be able to go to. And, I, and, I'm, and we're hoping that the treaty process will do that for us. And I'm going to be talking with the federal and provincial governments, and I'm going to, and we've been doing this for a long time, over 13 years, and we're at the table every month. So now, uh, when this comes up, uh, some of the things that come to me is that we just heard about this, and you're just starting to go towards uh, working on, uh, you know looking at these lands that are coming out of the TFL, well, we've been looking at them for a long time. We're a little bit on, in a disadvantage here. Uh, we're a very small tribe, limited on resources in, in the past ourselves. We're depending on uh, a treaty that will help us get out, out of the, under the wing of the Indian Act, be self-sufficient, and be able to take care of ourselves and build capacity for our young people. And I think that's, a, that's a, and, and saying that, we're also going to do it in one mind, and that is taking care of the environment first, and that's the way we work. And I think uh, with that said, the treaty process will be good for us. It'll be good for the communities all around us, and uh, what we want to do with our projects in the future is work with the environment and build on the environment, educate about the environment, get everyone together and say, what does it take? To, get, to make this place better. And if something can happen here, I think that's the first step. I know there's a lot of steps. And like I say, I don't know what that is. But I know that uh, without having these gatherings, that the decision makers can make any decision they want. And, uh, you know, I question some of those decisions that were made in the last couple of years. But the only problem is, is that nothing's been done about it. And uh, that's not right. I don't know, I thought this was Canada. <laughs> I really, this is Canada, we just had the Olympics. <laughs> Everybody's together as one, and then it, it's, it's, it's just funny, I just have a problem with that. So hopefully in the future we can, uh, as a First Nations government, work, work in good faith with the federal and provincial government to work for our people. But when I, when I talk about Sauk, I'm talking about all First Nations, and I'm talking about all people that live and encompass our traditional territory because we're all in it together, and we all have to stick together, and we all have to work together, and we all have to make this place a better place. And uh, it's only one step at a time. And I would like to say uh, I work for a park. I work for uh, the West Coast Trail, maybe because I like being outside in the environment. And I have, I have to be up in Long Beach uh, right now, but I, I, I had to stay down for this meeting because I know how important it is. I'm, I'm traveling up there tonight, so I apologize if I have to leave right away. I have an 8 o'clock meeting in Long Beach. But I, I just want to uh, acknowledge 
everyone that came here tonight. And I want to acknowledge the speakers after me. And again, again, I apologize for having the week so soon. And I want to uh, I want to say that I hopefully hopefully we can get the word out to our governments. Really, really think about not just the people today, but the kids that are born yet. That's the words I want to say. Let's protect the, the land for the children that are not born yet, because if we don't, they're always going to think that this is our legacy. And that's not right. Our legacy is to protect the ones that don't, can't protect themselves. So thank you very much. I'm really glad to be here. I